Uh, Dr. Mack, a question came in about uh, wearing masks. So should kids and teens at school be wearing masks and gloves when they go? Well, uh, right now, uh, in Quebec, they're going to be opening up the primary schools and not the high schools and stuff. And and um, recommendations are to wear masks, but I'm not sure how you can get a five, six, or seven year old to wear a mask all day long. And and so I think there's there's recommendations, and then there's pragmatism. So uh, um, I I I would I think the teachers have been instructed to wear the mask, and that sounds reasonable because you know no spread. But uh, these are tough questions, and to to really see how they're going to make these recommendations and then have these five-year-olds follow them. And stay six feet apart and all of those things. And I think it's important to know, Dr. Allen brought this up, is that it's not just about wearing a mask. It's about not touching the outside of the mask. Yeah. It's about potentially cleaning the mask on a regular basis. Yeah. It's a matter of even if you're wearing gloves, if you're then touching your eyes and your face, the gloves are completely pointless because the, the virus is on your gloves. So practically... Uh, it's not really a realistic thing to insist that young kids wear masks all day. And in Sweden, uh, um, where my daughter teaches, uh, uh, they have not closed the schools and uh, they don't wear masks there. But they've gotten into some trouble with high death rates there and high infectious rates there as well, infection but, rates but, there as well. Again, it's the same as here. It's the older people. Yes, exactly. Not, not in the schools. Not the not in the schools and not the young people. Yeah, absolutely.